Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repairs. On today's topic, I'm going to tell you guys all the classic symptoms of a bad piston rings. There are two different piston rings on a piston. The first two are the compression rings and the next three are the oil rings. Here's a close-up view. So the first one is a compression ring. The second one is compression ring. And you look carefully, the next three these three are the oil rings. The purpose of the compression ring is to prevent combustion leakage and the purpose of the oil ring is to prevent oil entering the combustion chamber. When the piston ring starts to wear out or it breaks or crack, the driver is going to notice all sorts of symptoms. If you notice blue smoke coming out of the tailpipe at all speed, this is due to worn piston rings. What happens is when the compression rings and the oil rings start to wear out, it's going to cause a bigger clearance between the piston rings and the cylinder wall. This is going to cause the oil to pass the piston rings and go straight into the combustion chamber where it will burn engine oil. The second common symptom is going to be lack of power. If you notice that the engine is starting to feel weak and it feels like there is no power, this can be caused by Low compression, again caused by worn piston rings. If you suspect that you have worn piston rings, at this point, it is time to conduct a compression test. When conducting a compression test, all cylinders must have similar readings and there must be no more than 10% difference between each cylinder. Of course, conducting a regular compression test is not gonna tell you if you have bad piston rings or not. The proper way to check for bad piston ring is to conduct a wet compression test. Basically, a wet compression test involves removing the spark plug and adding a teaspoon of 10W40 inside the uh, combustion chamber. When you add the engine oil or 10W40 engine oil, this is going to cause a temporary seal around here. And when you conduct that wet compression test, and if you notice that the compression slightly increased, that means you have worn piston rings. The next common symptom is going to be increased oil consumption. If you notice that you have to keep topping off your engine with engine oil every thousand miles or so, this is going to be caused by worn piston rings. It is normal for your engine to burn about one quart of oil every 1500 miles to 2,000 miles. If you notice that your engine is burning one quart of oil every 1,000 miles or less, again, this is going to be caused by worn piston rings. The next common symptom is going to be increased blow-by. Blow-by is where combustion leaks past the uh, piston rings and goes straight into the crankcase. When there is too much pressure in the crankcase caused by blow-by, this can cause seals such as the rear main seal, front seal, oil pan gasket, and so on to start to leak. The next symptom is going to be piston slap. Piston slap occur when there is too much clearance between the piston and the cylinder wall. You're going to notice piston slap, especially starting your vehicle in the morning. Clearance is greater in the morning or when the weather is cold between the piston and the cylinder wall. As the engine warms up, the clearance starts to diminish and the gap starts to close and the piston slap will go away. If you're wondering what piston slap is like, imagine this. There's too much gap between the piston and the cylinder wall. So when the piston is traveling up and down, it's pretty much just rocking against the cylinder wall. So when it's rocking against the cylinder wall, this is piston slap. It's gonna sound kind of like a rod knock. Piston slap usually go away once the engine warms up. However, if clearance is just too great, that piston slap noise will never go away. At this point, you're probably wondering what caused piston rings to fail prematurely. The first common reason why piston rings fail prematurely is going to be caused by lack of maintenance. In other words, not changing your air filter on time. If your air filter is extremely dirty, it's going to cause dirt, sand, leaves, 
random particles, and so on to enter inside a combustion chamber. Now, if sand enters the combustion chamber, all that sand is going to get caught between the uh, piston rings and cylinder wall. Basically, sand is extremely abrasive, and when it's caught between the uh, cylinder wall and the piston ring, it's going to act like sandpaper. So when the piston is traveling up and down, all that sand is causing the uh, piston rings and the cylinder wall to wear out rapidly. Air filter is extremely cheap, so do not cheap out on it. Make sure you change your air filter ahead of time if you want your engine to last a lot longer. The next common reason why piston rings fail prematurely is going to be extremely dirty engine oil. If you do not change your engine oil on time and you just constantly top off your engine with engine oil, all that dirt, sand, medical particles, sludge, and so on that's floating inside the uh, engine oil, eventually it's going to reach the uh, oil rings. Again, just like the air filter and that sand that I mentioned earlier, it's going to cause the rings again to rapidly wear out. The next common reason why piston rings fail prematurely is going to be caused by very low engine oil level. When engine oil is extremely low, this is going to cause lack of lubrication. And when there's lack of lubrication, this is going to cause increased friction. Every time when you have two metals making contact, there must be some sort of lubrication. Again, because if there's not enough lubrication, this compression ring, the oil ring, is going to run dry against the cylinder wall. Again, it's going to cause it to wear out rapidly. The next common reason why piston ring fell prematurely and a lot of engine components fell prematurely is going to be caused by overcooling. Overcooling occurs when the engine runs too cold for too long from startup. If engine does not reach to operating temperature and is constantly running extremely cold caused by stuck open thermostat, uh, the radiator fan is constantly running, or you have a malfunction cooling temperature sensor, or malfunction fan switch, or a stuck a fan relay, and so on, this can cause overcooling. The engine must run at operating temperature, so the uh, clearance between the uh, piston rings and, and the cylinder wall is at the correct gap or clearance. I'd like to add one last thing. If you take out your spark plug and you notice engine oil on the tip of your spark plug at the electrode, that means the oil rings and the compression rings are worn and it's, allow, and it's allowing uh, engine oil to pass the uh, uh, piston rings and all that engine oil is getting onto the uh, tip of the uh, spark plug. I hope you found this video useful. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.